Sophia Martelli is nervous. It's crazy. It's her first TV interview since becoming Haiti's first lady. And what a transition it's been. This is her husband now, Michel Martelly, president of Haiti. She jokes how he suddenly needed more than one suit and a single pair of dress shoes. That's because Michel Martelly previously dressed, well, more casually. This is him as YouTube star Sweet Mickey. And there's plenty more internet evidence about Sweet Mickey's wild side. Sophia Martelly says that was just a performance. My husband, Michelle, is very conservative. I mean, a lot of people find it very hard to, to believe that, you know, somebody so outspoken, so controversial on the scene um, could be, on stage, could be so conservative. But he has been a very conservative husband and father for the past 25 years that we, I've been with him. Michel Martelly and his family show up a lot on YouTube. Oldest child Olivier even produces music videos. Here are all four Martelly children. Mrs. Martelly says life changed for them after Haiti's presidential election in May. It's different. We have, they have more securities. They cannot do anything in private. So that part is a little frustrating to them. But they do enjoy the advantages of being, being the president's child. President Martelly, may God lead your government. And Mrs. Martelly predicts no return to her husband's rock star life. He's giving himself totally to making a difference in people's lives. I understand that the music, he had also given 100% of himself, but I think there's more satisfaction in the results that he can get by doing good for the people. Mrs. Martelly plans to dedicate her own good to Haiti's elderly. Here they are really neglected. I think it would be good to have shelters for the elderly, to provide them with health care. Also on her list, malnutrition. The United Nations says it's the number one cause of death in Haitian children under five. Sophia Martelly says for the past 18 years she's championed social causes. That part of her life will continue now, just on a much larger scale. Carolyn Persuti, VOA News.